There's a broad dorsum here. There's an ala flaring. Can you smile? Smile wide. This flaring of ala bases. Look up. So we have this young male patient who has come to us for a nose job. As you can see from the front profile, look front. There's a broad dorsum here. There's an ala flaring. Can you smile? Smile wide. This flaring of ala bases. It's a bulbous tip, which is also unsupported. Uh, you have any breathing difficulty? So he doesn't have any breathing difficulty in any of his nostrils. So this is going to be a purely a cosmetic nose job. So not going to do any work on the septum. Can you look this side? So on the side profile also, you can see there's a hump here, minimal hump. And also the tip is going downwards. It's rotated downwards. So this nose job requires a work to reduce the broad dorsum narrow down the nasal tip also the the ala basis so we might also require a rib cartilage to work on his uh, marginal rims not nasal dorsum as also a tip graft so this surgery will be done under general anesthesia this is going to take us around two to three hours for the procedure thank you Medic nose job for this patient who's got a very wide ala base. He wants it to be made slimmer. Also, there's a slight deviation as you can see. Medic nose job for this patient who's got a very wide ala base. He wants it to be made slimmer. Also, there's a slight deviation as you can see. We're going to be doing production, especially in the tip not in the length but also in the width Cosmetic nose job, we've reduced the width of this nose, made it slimmer a wee bit, not a lot. We've done augmentation to the radix by 3 millimeters, minimal tip refining, and a lot of ala base work. And this is the patient's immediate result. We can show you the side view for this patient before we started, and you can see how much of ala flaring this patient had. And we've taken the of that. explain to you there's still a lot of swelling for you first thing mm hold -hmm. so see this swelling will come down a little bit but the swelling is going to be there quite a lot mm -hmm. then if you see here this depression is gone width reduced here augmented but again here some swelling is there mm -hmm. because of the rib inside okay here also there is some swelling and the width reduced now the swelling will come down significantly but uh, maybe two three months but you still have a very thick skin so it will not come down too much it will come down it will be way better than this but still you're not going to have a very pointy uh, type of fur nose if you do that it will not suit your face also but you have to still take care because we put rib there 
we put some wraps there, we put different areas. So all of that will take some more time for it to heal. And this cut uh, also. You see this cut? There's a cut there, no? See this side? It's a really small gap mm -hmm. is there. We'll give you an ointment, apply there also ointment. And um, at least we give up three months and then you have three, four months you're getting Because you have a problem is not uh, in the bone, it's a thick skin you're having here. Thick skin, how much ever we mold, reacts by swelling. So it will swell, first reason. Secondly, we've done a lot of work on the bone also. Here, see, bone is bone is bone is bone. So there you put a tight splint, but here you've not put this. <coughs> swelling there. Two reasons. We come down, boy.